This wheel and axle is a force multiplier and the mechanical advantage is greater than one. It requires a small force to lift a large weight. You can also see that it is a speed distance divider because you have to pull for a much larger distance than that weight rises. Notice that the direction of input force application does not matter. This wheel and axle is like a steering wheel. It's like a bolt. It's like the crank set on a bicycle. It's like a pencil sharpener. Mechanical advantage greater than one, force multiplier, speed distance divider. As with many machines, if you take a force multiplier and switch the input and output force, this thing can become a speed and distance multiplier, as you see here. So the output is now on the larger wheel, input's on the smaller wheel, and you see that that mass moves a whole lot more than the input hand does. It is a speed and distance multiplier, so the mechanical advantage is less than one, and you get a lot more speed from the output but you have to apply a really large force input to get a small output force, conservation of energy. And now some examples. Any doorknob is a force multiplier. You apply the input force at the large diameter, and the output force is applied at the shaft inside the door to pull that latch open. And this style of sink is another one, exactly the same thing. This is a force multiplier. It turns a shaft, which opens up the valve. The clock that you see is a distance multiplier. Input force is from the motor at the central shaft, and the output is the motion of the arms. Bicycle is a speed multiplier because it allows you to go fast. The rear wheel is a wheel and axle with a mechanical advantage less than one. It's a speed multiplier, force divider. And the crank arm is a wheel and axle with a mechanical advantage greater than one.